Sherwood. And I'd like to thank uh, John Griffiths for bringing forward this important topic for debate this evening and for allowing me a minute of your time. Dioch, John. Uh, you've talked about the importance and the impact of vaping on children and young people, and it's that that I'd like to pick up on in my contribution. We have seen very quickly how this market has become glamorised and increasingly attractive to children and young people. And while rates of adults' trends of smoking have decreased, uh, vaping rates among young people have increased, even though they have never smoked before. And we've seen this uh, through, happen through uh, advertising on television and particularly social media platforms. The content they see shows tricks with smoking, making it look fashionable to young people. And as John has mentioned, we've seen the increase in the amount of vape shops in our communities. The market is awash with flavours that appeal to younger people, uh, so much like Alco Pops did. And we know that uh, children's awareness of promotion of vapes has also grown, particularly in shops where more than half of all children report seeing e-cigarettes being promoted and online where nearly a third have seen e-cigarette promotions. It's an alarming trend that we're seeing among young people. We need to get ahead and help to raise awareness among young people of the potential side effects. We know that the exposure of children and young people to nicotine can lead to lasting long-term negative impacts on brain development as well as addiction. And one school in my constituency installed vape sensors to deter it, but instead it went off 112 times within the first day. And the head teacher said, some young people are so addicted to the vapes, they can't last a lesson or an hour of time. So addressing these concerns and promoting awareness about the risks associated with vaping is essential to safeguard public health and wellbeing in Wales. We know that children and young people are the victims. Dioch.